mercy. How about you, Hank? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley one day. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? So here is a what I assume is a mid to late 80s model Lowell 844 TT34 uh, Highlander 2, according to the sticker. If we can get this thing cranked and we can see that it raises up and down, I'm going to take it home with me. Uh, I've been wanting a telehandler at the house for a while. This has got four brand new tires on it and uh it's got a new starter on it you can tell by looking at it it's not too dirty but I th we're going to try to get this thing fired up and see if indeed we can uh take it home with us so let's get the uh battery hooked up and see what happens there's a there's a hot battery in it we've already we already checked that or we already know that i should say but i can check it again i got a feeling that pallet's going to be in my way all day let me just double check this bat battery. Wiley, we're getting a late start, man. Yeah, I know it. What's up with that? I remember when this happened right here. That that uh, westbound truck was coming on 10. He left the road. He come through this fence right here, and he dumped this thing off. <laughs> he towed his truck right out there, and they left it on this man's property for... That's right. For the last 15 years. All right, this ain't going to work. This is 10 volts. Uh, so, let me get... I'm glad I brought another battery. You got any batteries in your truck just in I case? I do not. I do not. I got jumper cables as well. It's a 12-volt system, so... We should be all right. Hey, check that... Check that one back of my truck, will you? While I get this out. It went dead overnight. All right, that'll work. One way to get it out. How's that one look? What you put it on? Yeah, the black. 12-4, had a cranker. Grab that hook. Supposedly there ain't much wrong with this machine, Wiley. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Guess we will find out. You got a um, hammer? Huh? You got a hammer? Actually, let me see if I can. Nah, no, yeah, I need like a. Miscellaneous. When you don't have it on there, you just got my. I didn't hear you. All it says is MI. <laughs> oh, does. Oh. It done wore out the paint. The sticker done wore out. Alright. So these 844, 644s, 844s, and 1044s, pretty popular machines. This one has a uh, John Deere in it. Some of them have Detroit's in them. Some of them have Perkins in them. I think. I would imagine you're right. It's probably whatever they could buy the cheapest at the time. Yeah. Um, let me turn on this. I don't know if that's on or off. All right, watch your fingers. Yeah, nothing up front. So this is your forward, neutral, and reverse. This is your like you're steering. Your range is third, second, first, second, third. Pretty sure. This is your steering disconnect here. This is your main boom, park and brake, uh, auxiliary. And then these are your different controls to tilt your forks or whatever. Okay. 
You, know, you didn't get it to click? Uh-uh. But I don't know if this... Yeah. 12-2 to the starter. Man, we used to be all about batteries. Now we're all about starters. Did you switch it on? Yeah, the switch is on, but I... Well, then the, the disconnect is on because we're getting power to the starter. Did, did you have a key in it? Yeah. Well, I'm switch it on. Let me see if I hear the pump. Okay. Oh, you know what? Wiley, I didn't even look under here. Hold on a second. Oh, no, it's connected. All right, you ready? Yeah. Switch is on. I can't hear for the... Uh... Hang on a minute. So the oil pressure gauge moves. And the trans temperature moves. Let me see how many hours it's got on it. 8663. 8,663 hours. I thought we were getting something. Yeah, I wonder if that solenoid's bad. You know? Yeah, see, that's what I was doing yesterday. How was you doing that? With the switch or? With a screwdriver. All right, let me see uh, the screwdriver. I'm gonna get the old welding torch out so Wiley can try to drop the, uh, get this started. Oh, man, I dropped that dog on thing. Good thing I was wearing my Georgia boots. These are real leather. Man, I'm telling you what, they they will fit you. You can use code HF20 to save 20% off your next pair of Georgia boots or any pair of Georgia boots. It's pretty awesome. Visit Georgia boots, use code HF20. You'll get pure leather, waterproof if you want, steel toe if you want. They got all kinds of soles that make uh, you know oil resistant, grease resistant, stuff like that. Check out Georgia boots and use code HF20. Let's get this uh, to Wiley and see if he can get this thing cranked up. Yep, yep. That's loose. All right, let me get you a, let me get you a wrench. Five eighths. Bigger. Yeah. Doctor Scapel. Let me make sure it's in neutral. What that? What that? What it is? <laughs> I think that's in neutral. Let me pull the parking brake is up. Are we going to take that starter out and bench test it? Because it, don't it look new to you? Yes, it does. That motor should be whining on that starter. It wound. Do you, you hear that one time? It, yeah, that's right. I heard something there. Now he said that they put that new starter on and then they drove it here and this is where they, after the starter was already on. Cause I asked him yesterday. I don't know, I don't know. Ain't that the craziest uh, thing? 
Yeah, the power is going to the Bendix. The starter, the solenoid is wired to the starter side of the switch, so that's all right. Now pull that off. It'd be pretty easy. I think so too. You got it. water all in it, wasn't it? Uh-oh. That's why it's... I bet all that's rusted. You know what? That's what that water... That's what that liquid was. You're just like, why is it wet? But let me tell you. What do you think about that flywheel in there? Oh, it looks good. Flywheel looks okay. I mean, it's got a couple... I change, I, you can reach the crank pretty easy. Oh, you don't already try it? Yeah. Okay. It's a three quarter inch. Oh, yeah. Huh? Just turn it. The engines are not locked up. Uh -uh. Turn that with a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah, there was water in the starter. <clears throat> I bet that's why, I bet the brushes are rusted in there. You know what? I'll just see if we can throw some 12 volts on it. And This is positive. Yeah. Need the vice grips. I hope it's just a bad starter because I want to buy it. Is this ground? Huh. Right here, here. That just touch that to that. Oh, okay. Got to get the power back on. Okay. that and see what happens there. Kimasabi. Yeah, see it's not. Look at that, y'all. Okay, let me call let me call Cloud Auto and see if they got, if they got a starter or 4276. Unless you think we can take it apart and... We as in us. <laughs> <laughs> Start a man can. But that's what it's going to need. I'm sure that start is pretty expensive. Probably $290. Yeah. See, that's plastic. Yeah. Hey, can you look up and see if you got a starter... Uh, if I give you a model number, it's a starter for a John Deere 4276. 
Yeah, hold on a second. Let me swap on. All right, what's your number you got? The model number is 657-6N as in Nancy. Hold on. 657 what? 6N as in Nancy. Probably work now. <laughs> what else did you have? Uh, AB2015, 12 volts, and then there's a, a PO number that's under the barcode. I've got the old one off. All right, hold on. I'm, this phone, your, your phone and my phone is making noise. It says I got one. How much is it? That thing out the door is three hundred dollars and seventy-eight cents. Okay. All right. Well, I'll bring the core here and we'll get it swapped out. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Boy, you went too far off, Wiley. Hmm. You got three hundred dollars I can borrow? Yeah. Sure. All right. We're gonna take your truck. Four hundred. Four hundred back. <laughs> you get loan loan you uh, three hundred. Four hundred back this afternoon. Pay back four hundred. Buddy. All right, we're back. Three hundred dollars later. Three hundred seven dollars. Now we just throw the starter on there. Shoot, what you talking about, driver? an air filter in it. What do you think about that? You know Baldwin made car quest filters? I had no idea. Huh? I had no idea. Whatever is smaller than the 9 16th, yeah. 
a half inch. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's a 9 16 not a 5 inch. Oh, wait a minute. That's a socket. Did you get that disconnect, the master kill switch? That kill switch is right there. Hang on, please. Try to show it. You got the 916? Yes, sir. Oh, you gotta look at that fuel. Well, it ain't got a darn bleed screw on it. That's a hex, hex head, or Allen wrench. There go. Now, the only thing that concerns me about this machine, well, not the only thing, but one thing he did say is when they parked it here because they felt like he'd run it out of gas or out of fuel, but then he said that he, looked, he thinks he put had fuel in it. Try it with a switch. Just to see if we got all the connections done. Break that uh break that line loose there. You just need me to break it loose? Yeah, we'll see if you're getting any fuel right here. None? Uh-uh. Where's this guy? <coughs> it goes that way. That goes to the so, switch when you turn the pump on. That turns the pump on. The key switch, right? Yes. Still nothing? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're getting, we're getting some. Huh? Yeah. Full flow? I do it again. It ain't gonna draw it up while this is not. Huh? It was getting some, yeah. No. No. I'm pumping him. Oh, here it comes again. It looks like maybe do it again. Keep going. Yeah, it looks like some. Damn. Unless that was from earlier. But it definitely got some, some came out. You got them all tight? Uh-uh, no. Is this key switch on? Hold on, I gotta tighten this one up, Wiley. I hear something. In the pump? Yeah. All right. I don't, want to, I don't want to be in between this tire and this firewall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's trade spots. I sure do. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't need that much.
Watch your fingers. Alright, that's boom in, boom out. That's the carriage. That's the forks. I thought I gotta tilt I gotta tilt that back somehow. Frank, this is frame level. operating hydraulic fluid you got to blow back and shift it and level up the forks no you can't the, yeah that's what i'm trying frame level should be the, should be this one what's going you hear something back there go the other way Oh, oh. What's that? Okay, so that's the carriage level. We want this one. We want that. Don't hit that one no more. All right, I'm gonna see if it rolls. Let me see if it, um, let me try to crank it up. How'd you crank it up? Oh, we cranked it up with a screwdriver. I wonder if it needs hydraulic fluid. You know? Let me see. Watch your fingers, uh, Wiley. Or your head. Watch yourself. I'm going to lower this. I'm going to lower what? Okay. It ain't like a tractor where you can just relieve the pressure and it sets down. Okay. You got a stick. What do you make of that? It's got water in it. Lots of water. What does that mean? Means it just needs changing, change your filter, change your fluid. You're gonna have to pack cylinders. At least one, right? But when you get one, you got this one and that one for sure. 
I mean, ain't a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, reckon we can load it like this? I don't see why you can't. It's just across these two at top, right? Yeah, right there. I'm in that seat, Wild. Oh, yeah, do that. Which one was that? This one you push to the front, and that you push, uh, push to the back. Okay. Awesome. Okay. That's great. It's going to be a good machine. Now, when you take these cylinders off to have them repacked, how do you keep it in place? Some chains and booms and cribbage. Now, how do you tilt that? How do you tilt those forks back? That far right. That's. Pull it. Back. Does that thing go side to side or just front to back? That's it's the small one that tilts the front. Let me see. Do it again. The small one. Closest to. The now tip, this. The lever. Yeah, you're. There it is. What was that? That's it. No, I'm sorry. That's not it. We want to tilt this. We want this cylinder. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, let me go, uh, let's go get the, uh, the trailer from the house. And we'll probably drive this thing up to the dirt road and load it on the dirt road. All right, we've got some bladder issues here. We're going to take all the cylinders. Well, there's three of them, and I'll just have to take them to a shop to get them repacked. But it'll be enough, it'll be enough for what we need to do around the farm. So let's go get the trailer. Three hours later. <laughs> That boy might not last, but huh? your, your runner might not take the weight of it, but you won't fall far. Now I got pups in there. You got a screwdriver? No. We find something. Hey, horsey, horsey. That thing leaks fast, don't it? Huh? I said that thing leaks fast, don't it? I mean, it's got ton. Looks plenty, don't it? Huh? Looks like it's got plenty, huh? Yeah. All right. But I'll add some hydraulic fluid. Probably enough to get us air in it. Okie dokie. There's nothing to eat here. There's nothing. You got a screwdriver, screwdriver in your truck? You got a screwdriver in your truck? I'm sure I'll find something. Get away from there. You don't need to be sniffing that. 
You got your weights down? Yeah, you go. What's that tire look like? That's as far. Now it won't do nothing. Oh. Whoa. You're going to have to get some more oil then. You're going to have to, get, you're going to, have to put about 10 gallons of oil in it. You're going to scotch it? I'm going to turn it off. What are you going to do? You're going to block his wheels. And then we'll add oil. Where, where are you going to get it? I'm gonna see if he's got some. And it just cut off by itself. You gonna scotch these wheels? No, you need to get it off your trailer and see if we can get it backed up. And seeing what? <clears throat> All right, see if it'll take some fuel. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, 
off your brakes and see if you can go straight. Come on, let it go on back. It, it, the boom should work like this, though. I wasn't worried about the boom. I just wanted to get the fuel back up there. Is it switched on? Yeah. It's an ether. Man, I'm talking about it's just wide enough. Alright, you gonna back your truck up? Well, after we get it going over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I can do, if you can't get it going, we can back it over and put it in the... I don't know what we're gonna do. They might have to spend down the night with the old man down here. <laughs> Ride around with him in a scooter. Yeah. You got it switched on? Yes, sir. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's move. Come on. Come on. Watch the front. Hey. Watch out, man. Come on. That look good? I think you're good there. All right. Okay, so you want to see him before he gets out of here? And yeah, I'm actually gonna pay the man for the machine, and then okay. we're gonna go back to my house, load up with hydraulic fluid, some more fuel, and just come back in the morning because it's getting it's getting dark. So look, need to be safe because man, I'm telling you that thing. My trailer is eight foot wide. This thing is eight foot six probably. It's. it's <laughs> uh, oh, y'all some good dogs. Let's, I gotta at least get past the. You think we was good under that? Well, I think if you have to, you can go this way out. Hey, I'd get uh, I'd get on this side, and back up right there, give you a little downhill run. Okay. Yeah, I'll just because that's kind of slanted. This is more levelish. Okay, let me move the truck. Then. Well, let me get this oil out of here. You know, hold that, please, sir. I think a good friend of mine's daughter has had the daggum Egyptian flu for nine months. <laughs> oh yeah. She gonna be a mummy. <laughs> They never get old, do they, Wiley? Is that full? Or did you just spill some of it? I need to uh, seriously slide this carriage forward and put, put water in that radiator. And put, uh, put the radiator cap back on it. 
What do you think about that? You know, you fixed your lights, huh? No. They just come on every now and then? Well, this side works. Both was on. Yeah, yeah. both brake lights just then. Yeah, the brake lights work. There's a couple of the markers don't. I think they decide what they want to do. Uh, let me, I might need to either. That's ground then, what that is. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, will that machine fit through this gap right here? I hope so. Right. Um, I would hope it would. Let me go get a screwdriver. <laughs> Ready? Yes, sir. One more again. Yeah. yeah. All right. Click your switch. That thing is, is that thing supposed to be full? It's supposed to be. No, well, that's like right here. That's what it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Where in the world did that spark come from? Is it still on fire? Or it's it? coming out. All right. Just try, trying to get it off that wire. Did you get that? <laughs> well, those, those wires are probably not good anymore. Where did they go, I wonder? Um, this is the lug I was talking about yesterday. Yeah. It says I. Is that ignition? Yeah. I think it says I. Let me see. Yeah, so there's not even a wire on that one. Ah, let's take and bleed it, I guess. Oh. I don't know why it wouldn't lock up on ether. Yeah. I'm well, glad you did it because it had white smoke coming out of the back. I don't know why. It didn't fire off feet. Started right up. Oh yeah, that gave me a lot there. Or either it quit yeah. on it. Okay, huh? yeah. It was leaking. I mean it's coming out here. Try to kill yourself again? Huh? I said you wanna to try to kill yourself again? Uh, I almost died. <laughs>
<laughs> so I need to go get some more ether. Let's see if that does anything. What's that? Let's just see what this did us. What it just did him. <coughs> Hang on, Hank. Let's uh let's keep breaking that loose till it gets okay. Gets uh It off of it? I can't tell. I tell you what, you didn't waste near a centimeter. Take that nut off and put it around it. <sighs> boy, oh boy, let me see. They just don't. Something is just not right. I don't know if this little supply pump is going bad. <clears throat> Hang, I'm not sure. Bump that over just a little bit, Hank, the engine. Uh, I took that wire off. It don't matter. You don't have to crank it. I'm just trying to get a bite on this. Come on. Come on. Just spin it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we may have to hook that electric pump to it. Of yours. There it is. Spin it over, son. Ah! I had one time that the return line was stopped up on a John Deere, and that's exactly what it, what did. it was doing going to the tank. Let's hook, that, let's hook up that electric fuel pump. I should just bring my truck down here. <laughs> huh? I should just bring my truck down here. Is this the return? No, this goes no, to the fuel pump. This uh, is the fuel pump. Yeah. I'm calling the fuel pump. And if you put that on there, Hank, it's just, it just needs these on there. The engine will run like it's supposed to. 
And I, I just no reason that it would run and go dead. Cause then he said like it just switched off with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. It's got me. We'll just take it with us. Yeah. Cloud got one, you reckon? I would think so. You'll spend less than what you did yesterday. <laughs> That's the good thing. Yeah. Parts getting cheaper now. Uh -huh. They come with a gasket? Yeah. All right. Hope it comes with a mechanic. The next day. Mechanical fuel pump. <laughs> I can read it in French and Spanish. Okay, okay. This one's just pull off and replace, ain't it? Yeah. We're probably glad they got them off when we put them back on. Did you start that one? Uh, I haven't. Not anything. Let me see if I can do it. I can see the hole. Yeah. But no. Let me take this back. I'll put the gasket on it with the nuts. I mean, with the bolts. Try that way. I feel like it's going. It feels like it not. Hit the other side. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to. All right. That was a 9 6 on the fuel line over there, wasn't it? No, is it that or five eighths? One of the two. Did you got both of them? Nope. So let me catch y'all up on what's going on, in case you fast forwarded it to this part. Uh, we it wasn't it wasn't getting fuel somehow, so we changed the lift pump. We got a new lift pump and a new fuel filter, and put that on. And now we're back to where we're going to have to try to prime the system. Uh, you, I need you there to bump it in case I need that. Now you're going to have to talk louder. I ain't got to do nothing. When this thing starts turning over, you want me to tighten Turn it? Turn it over, spin it. You want me to tighten it if it spits out fuel Just or starts running? Just spin it over. Oh.
finished off if it won't go. Boy, you can move that carriage forward. We'd have a lot more room, won't we? All right, hit the starter button. Mm. Still getting it spit out Come of on. quit coming out of this second one all right so we just talked to our friends over at area diesel and he was telling us about taking the top of this fuel pump off and the, the solenoid looks like it's working we's getting it's getting fuel to the top of that so probably got to ground it somehow another to see if we can so this is where we're at in the, the process. So that shuts it off. No, it's a the spring. He says you can also see the meter and you can also see the meter and valve when you take the top cover off. Make sure it's not stuck. This that's the meter. Is that it right there? That's the little return valve that. <laughs> That's nice. That is very nice. I couldn't blow in it. Uh, you want to take a... He said it would have a check valve. Oh, like a BB or something in it? So you, it would... Well, it would be past, it would be past yeah, that 90 It's in the fit. Yeah, yeah. It's in the fit. It looks almost threaded, and it looks like it's missing a piece. Yeah, that's threaded, and there's nothing there. That hole that I'm looking at is the. So there's nothing in there at all. But let's uh, let's make sure we get a good ground before we say that's not working. We had a good ground because it's art, right? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Push down on the frame. Uh, it. Right? Yeah, I would think so. Uh, then I wonder if Cloud sells those. <clears throat> I doubt it, huh? Okay, Hank. Well, that 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 means it was off, so it has to pull it back for it to come on, right? Okay. But what is that? That's going, that's going to hook right under here. Oh yeah, then it pulls it, pulls it back to open it. So that would be open. That would be open. And when it lets go, it's supposed to... Push it back down, yeah. Well, that's got no travel in it. Now, Let's it. just hook it to, straight to the positive. Hold it down. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, we know it was arcing on that just a minute ago. Yeah. That may be working. Let's, I wonder. Can we call them back one time? Yeah. Oh, okay. The metering valve is in the top right corner of this picture. Okay, so there's a metering valve right there. It's in, it's on, no, yet. Yeah. There. No. It's inside. Beside the hook. See the hook? Yeah. 
Yeah. And so he says in the top right, so that's the metering valve. So can you stick your finger in there and see if it's stuck? Yeah, there, there. That's a trip, and like it locks down, and then when you release it, like switch it off, yeah. it trips it off. So it's working. Yeah. I never knew it was a trip valve like that. It's a trap door. The only way this is going back is back. That's got to be off, and that's got to be. Running. Push down is running? Yeah. Okay. Got to be, right? Hey, Curtis. Oh. What'd you find? Hey, Curtis, we took took it off. I never have taken one off. But it looks like that uh, solenoid is almost like a, a trap. You just, it just, the spring does all the work, right? In other words, this don't look, if, if the, if the, the if the, I don't know what you call it. It's like a hook on this on the pump side, not on the cover side. Does it go all the way down flat for it to be in running for the fuel to be on? Well, the uh, so when you apply power to the solenoid, it pulls that little lever on the solenoid back. Yeah. And that operates on that linkage down inside there. So it pulls the linkage back to for fuel. I believe, I believe that's right. If you turn the key on, you ought to be able to see that solenoid move, and that'll show you. No, the the the, solen the solenoid only acts like a trap. I can hit it, and the solenoid will True. not move yeah. unless I move it with my finger. Then it'll click. Mm. <laughs> well, maybe I need to get with the pump technician and confirm my theory, but I think I'm pretty sure you're going to see that move when you give it power. Even if you don't have, like, even if it has no resistance, like, pressure-wise, as far as, like, our finger, you know what I mean? It should still yeah. freely move up and down. I should probably get with him and see what, what, uh... Okay. <laughs> Curtis, it's almost like that, it's almost like that spring does the work, and this, this valve just kind of holds it in its place, and then it releases it. But like you said, it, it's got to have enough power on this solenoid to push that spring one way or the other. And I, yeah, you ought to be able, to, ought to, be able to, to operate the, the pump side. You ought to be able to move by hand and crank on it. And if that's a problem, it ought to fire off. It don't. It does not work by itself. Yeah, the solenoid don't work by itself. He has to stick his finger in there and help it trip. Well, it's either going to be one one or the other. One way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's. So it's okay to try to start it with the cap off. Yeah, I wouldn't run very long, but you still fire it up super fast. I mean, it's going to pump fuel out of it. Thank you, Curtis. I appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. See what these do. Ready? Yeah. That's it. That's crazy. What's this? Forwards off. So go backward with it. Yeah. yeah. So the solenoid's bad. Yeah. Wow. I mean, thank you, Curtis. Is, how many is that? Hours of that. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Curtis. We appreciate that. Yeah. All right. So solenoid, right? Yeah. So uh, you know what? You got use of a transfer pump. You can put that up because so, you know it's probably still good that was a problem the whole time i'm thinking that those bottom screws what holds that in i'm it, sure right yeah that, that would be my guess yeah all right never had this before yes yeah, see i uh yeah well there you go there you go man i hope it's i hope it's about 400 dollars to buy a new cell let me hey. put this in here man and how and i gotta buy mexican I tell you what we're gonna do. We have been out here all day, so we're gonna go buy a solenoid, 
uh, I've already paid for the machine. So we're gonna go buy a solenoid. I may have to order one if they don't have it. And then part two of this video will be uh, of us loading it and taking it home and all that stuff. Cause this, I mean, literally we've got six hours of footage <laughs> that we're gonna, that my editor has to cut down for, you know, an, an hour long video. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Take care, God bless you guys.